My name is Rob Rowley, Director of Training and Education for Merit Medical. Welcome to a virtual in-service for the Safeguard Compression Device. The Safeguard Compression Device is used to gain and maintain hemostasis of the femoral artery. The Safeguard is a single-use disposable compression band with a clear polyurethane window to allow visualization of the access site. The device also includes a balloon, flexible fill tube, and a self-adhesive peel backing. The Safeguard comes in two sizes, a 24 centimeter length with a 40 cc balloon and a 12 centimeter length with a 7 cc balloon. A valve on the end of the fill tube enables a syringe to be connected to inflate the balloon with air to provide pressure to the arteriotomy in the groin area. Please note, for a 40 ml balloon, you must use a 40 cc syringe or larger. The Safeguard device may be used to achieve hemostasis using either the manual assist technique or to control oozing using the post hemostasis technique. We will now review placement and inflation for each technique. Before you begin, the skin should be clean and dry. For the manual assist technique, with the sheath still in place, apply the Safeguard with the center of the balloon directly over the arteriotomy. Ensure that the inflation tube is in a location that is easily accessible to the clinician. Before we apply the band to the groin, aspirate the sheath and withdraw the sheath back approximately two to three centimeters, ensuring the hub is outside of the band area. Now pull one strap down, expose the adhesive to the skin and apply, and then do the same with the other side. Ensure that the band is snug and tight against the skin and the balloon remains over the arteriotomy. Engage the inflation tube with a lower locking syringe. Inflate up to the maximum volume of 40 ml of air into the bulb to apply pressure on the arteriotomy site and simultaneously pull the sheath out as you inflate the balloon. Immediately apply manual compression directly over the inflated bulb while the sheath is being pulled out. Hold manual compression over the balloon until hemostasis has been achieved. During pressure application, pedal pulses are checked every two to three minutes. A diminished pulse is acceptable during brief full pressure application, but the distal pulses should not be obliterated completely. If the pedal pulse is absent during compression, the pressure over the artery should be slightly decreased periodically to allow distal circulation. Slowly release manual compression per hospital protocol. Confirm hemostasis is achieved by viewing the site through the inflated bulb. For the post hemostasis technique in which hemostasis has already been achieved and the sheath is removed, Place the center of the balloon directly over the arteriotomy. Ensure that the inflation tube is in a location that is easily accessible to the clinician. Now, pull one strap down, expose the adhesive to the skin, and apply, and do the same with the other side. Ensure that the band is snug and tight against the skin and that the balloon remains over the arteriotomy. Attach an appropriately sized lure locking syringe to the valve of the safeguard device. Inflate the safeguard device with air until hemostasis is achieved. The maximum fill volume is 40 ml. Check distal pulses to assure blood flow is maintained. The deflation process is the same for both post hemostasis and manual assist techniques. Deflate the bulb by attaching appropriate sized lure lock syringe to the valve. Slowly depress the bulb, allowing the syringe to fill with air. Observe the site for hemostasis. Reinflate the balloon if hemostasis is not achieved. Deflate bulb every two hours to allow for capillary refill and to access the site. Reinflate the bulb if necessary. It is important to not draw negative pressure on the syringe. Prior to discharge of the patient, remove the safeguard and apply sterile dressing per hospital protocol. For additional transradial and distal product support, contact your local Merit representative or visit merit.com forward slash customer support. 